That's dope. Apple Watch Ultra. Threw me for a loop. This didn't, I don't wanna say it didn't make any sense. The only thing that didn't make sense to me was the naming convention. Applewood has nothing in this product line that says Ultra. That's kind of a Samsung thing. We'll get to that, a little weird. Usually whenever Apple wanna make a distinction between a regular model and a souped up model or a more premium model, what's the term they use? Pro, we all know that. You're a pro user, you're not a pro user. Are you a pro user? We don't know, let me know in the comments section. Let me know, but anyway, why is it called an Ultra? Why is it called an Ultra? It makes no sense. It breaks all the design, like it, all, it breaks all the uniform design language. It's supposed to be pro and regular. Introducing a watch that pushes brown their boundaries. Cool. For athletes that do the same, I'm definitely getting one. Definitely getting one. Uh, Adventure awaits. Cool. Meet the most rugged and capable Apple Watch ever with a robust titanium case. Titanium. Precision dual frequency GPS up to 36 hours of battery life. That's good. The freedom of cellular and three specialized bands made for athletes, adventurers of all kind. Three bands or limited to three bands that come with it, but probably not banned so separately. Available starting 923. Cool, no problem. All right, I'm gonna look at the design of this freaking watch. Design pioneering engineering because it's a very distinctly looking watch. I like how it looks. And I don't know if that's like a starlight or like a rose gold or a gold. It looks tough because it is. Cool. Because it looks kind of thick. It's like, it's, that watch is real thick. It reminds me of an Invictus watch or something like that. To build the ultimate sports watch, we craft every element with a painstaking attention to detail for unparalleled performance. Titanium strikes the perfect balance between weight, ruggedness, and corrosion. Resist oh corrosion resistance. The new case design rises up to rises up to surround the flat sapphire crystal. I like that and protect it from edge impacts. The digital crown is larger and the side buttons is raised from the case, making it easier to use while you're wearing gloves. Now this right here, 49 millimeter titanium case. Uh, I'm assuming that's a Scott, that's the size of the screen. It has to be, not case. 45 millimeter titanium case. Awesome. Water resistance up to 100 meters. I'm not going that deep. Tested in, I don't know what that means. M I mil stood. I don't know what that means. I don't I don't swim. I don't know what that means. IP <laughs> 610. Dust resistance. Cool. I'm not going anywhere dusty. But that thing is thick. The biggest and brightest Apple Watch display ever. I like that. Because I have like the biggest Apple Watch at, the, at this current time before the before the Ultra, but I still feel like it's kind of small. Direct sunlight is no obstacle for always on retina display with eye opening. Cool 2000 nits in the watch is pretty good. That display is small. And the bigger display provides more room for workout metrics and detail packs, watch interfaces. I like that. So they're gonna have more, more, more metrics and details on the screen because the screen's bigger. I like that. Wayfinder watches face, <laughs> Wayfinder watch uh, face with night mode. I like that red. So you can see it at night, I get that, let's do it. Ready for action, a new action button gives you quick physical control over the var variety of function. It's customizable and can do things like control, a workout, make a mark a compass waypoint and begin a dive just like you, it's full potential. I wonder if I can just click that button to start whatever workout I'm doing, like if I'm going for a jog or a run or something like that. If it's customizable, I'm pretty sure you probably just listed a few, but you can do a bunch of other things, okay. I like that. Opposed to me going into my activity, hitting the workout, and then going, if I always do this particular workout, I can just click the button. I like that, that's pretty good. I like that a lot. Everything in place, cool. Let's look at this specs. Let's see how this thing breaks down. GPS antenna precision dual frequency. GPS provides accurate location for cellular distance, pace, and route maps. I like that. Dual speakers. A second speaker improves audio volume for calls in Syria. I like that, that's dope. So far, so good. The action button, um, you can customizable and it's real apparent. You can see it and it's kind of bold. Siren emits an 86 decibel sound pattern to attract help. Really? Can be heard up to 600 feet and 180 meters away. On the other side, the side button, the classic side button, cool, no problem. Cause nothing on the other side. Okay, that's where the action button is. Um, juxtaposed to the action button might take up the whole side. No, not the whole side. A good, a good amount. It's bigger than a regular side button though. Side button used to access safety features. Press and hold to make an emergency call. That's pretty classic. 
um, the digital crown, a larger diameter and coarser grooves makes it easier to use. That makes sense because the current one is kind of not hard to use, but it's not the easiest thing to do. Battery for life for days, 36 hours. If this thing is that thick, it better have that man. That better have good battery life. This phone, this uh, watch is thick as hell. Uh, high run dive. This is the band for that. So we got the Alpine Loop, the Trail Loop, and the Ocean Band. I'm looking like, even though I don't swim, I kind of like that Ocean Band or maybe the Trail Loop. Maybe the Trail Loop. Maybe the Trail Loop. I don't know. I don't know whether it's you're on your wrist or run for a while, a 10K or an ultra marathon. An ultra marathon. It takes a special kind of person to seek out challenges that test your physical, your physicality. F watch Ultra's training partner help you push your limits. That's what I'm excited for. Okay, now the, here are all the sensors inside the watch. This is what I'm kind of interested in personally. Heart rate zones quickly see your intense levels. Training zones are automatically calculated and personalized using your health data, or you can create them manually. I like that, cool, that's dope. Running form, I'm not a runner, but I wonder how they dictate your running form. Edge, stride, length, ground, contact time, and vertical oscillation to your view, to understand how efficiently you run. Track detection, track detection, whether or not to let you know if you're on a track tonight, but it's coming soon. I'm not paying that no mind then. Action button, run like clockwork. Measure your progress with extreme precision by customizing the action button to control your workout. Okay, I got my answer. Mark a segment and move on your next interval. I like that GPS. That's truly trailblazing. I see this whole whole thing where like this one only comes in cellular. It does not come in like a Bluetooth version. I get that. The GPS dilemma for most people, a traditional GPS solution with just one L GPS works well most of the time, but it can be tricky when tall building trees and dense foliage block satellites. The newer L5 GPS enables advanced signaling precision, reduce many errors, and providing a more consistent signal in environments like dense city. Precision, dual frequency. I like that. Cool. That's dope. I like that. Oh, man. She got her Nike on. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. She got Nike on. Two frequency. Okay, cool. I'm liking this, man. I'm definitely going to get this. Um, I'm definitely going to get this watch. This watch is pretty dope, man. I like it. Designed to take more extreme environments. The comp is reimagined. They really like it, this orange color. Okay, I, I like how they did more with the Apple Watch because the Apple Watch is kind of like one device that everyone like had, but it wasn't much more you can do to it besides what is already, like it just tracks your workouts and do stuff. It's not that big, but like making it more more geared towards people who do extreme sports and things in that nature or people who go a little bit harder i get that oh a dive planner okay i seen this at the dive planner at okay coming soon a full featured dive computer i'm not swimming but it's pretty dope if you want to go dive and you want to actually see what you're doing i think this is dope the company i guess apple, apple might have bought into them or they kind of just have some stake in the company that's doing this um are giving them like ad space front and center that's crazy. I don't know how Apple's doing that. Oh, what's this? Measure that makes sense. Oh, tell them to slow down and whatnot. That's cool. I'm not swimming though. Oh, powerful features. Yeah, let me know what you think of this Apple Watch. I'm definitely getting it. Yeah, I'm definitely getting this phone. Not phone. Watch. Oh, let's, let's look at the price point. Price point is what? Let me see how much this Apple Watch is. I think it's. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot right there. Where's the price point now? What's the price point? Don't don't hide the price point from me now. What is it? Come on, seven ninety nine. The price of a phone. The Apple Watch Ultra is the same price as the regular model iPhone fourteen. I don't know how I feel about that price point, but the current ones around five hundred dollars to three hundred bucks more and to set a difference for everything that they're doing in the watch is actually three hundred bucks maybe the price does make sense maybe seven seven fifty but that's that's so close that's ridiculous eight hundred bucks i'm probably going to get one i think this is probably this product and that dynamic island and the bigger camera unit are kind of like the main takeaways from this apple event in my opinion those are the things i actually like the bigger camera unit some better photos and better videos for the iPhone 14 and 14 Pro. The, the dynamic island and blended software and hardware and this particular watch. I can't wait to get my hands on it um, to get like an on, 
my own hands review to see how it feels. But um, let me know how you feel about the Apple Watch Ultra in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Nigga, I'm coach. That's the